I got another upgrade for my battery system. Got uh, this battery monitor. Pretty much tells me the amp hours left in my system. Stuff this will help a lot with the changing temperatures I always have, and uh, so I don't have to go just off the voltage of the batteries. Very happy. Looking forward to using that. I temporarily hook up, hooked up this little PSI inverter just so I can charge my power it off of uh, off grid solar power because that's modified sine wave. I didn't really want to run the charger off that too much, so I have the pure sine wave just temporarily hooked up. But uh, I'm trying to figure out where on here I'm going to mount that uh, little thing. Might be up here, top corner. This I have a lot of room down below down here, so I might take this whole thing and lift it up. I'm not sure yet. <coughs> so that the, the two charge controllers will be like up here. Um, but anyways, I'm going to see if I can at least get the, the main parts of it uh, on tonight. And then uh, I can finish it up on the weekend. Electron energy shunt installed in here. I have the wire coming out here for now to the monitor. I'm going to put it right there, but for now, I have it here. So I am charging my batteries to get them up to 100%, and then I am going to uh, run off them. I'm going to see what this says. Auxiliary voltage, my main battery voltage. Uh, not sure what that means. Not yet. I gotta read the manual somewhere. 100% uh, charged. Well, I gotta continue to charge it. it they were charged, they're just sitting. Uh, but I want them to be fully, fully charged. And uh, I guess that's the, the ampere capacity that we've taken out so far. This is what's going in to my batteries. Now I'm going to have to set up, uh, right now I have these two charge controllers going directly to the batteries. But now I'm going to have to take the negative and put it through the Victron uh, battery monitor. So I can see the power going in and the power going out. Uh, that'll be nice. But that's for the weekend because it's late. And uh, all I'm going to do pretty much for the rest of the night is go off grid. Right, so now we're running off the batteries. It says we're pulling around 100 amps out of the batteries. This is my battery voltage. At this current, um, I'm guessing this is 12 hours till battery discharge at this current pull. Now it's going back up because I believe we're at 99.9% .9 .9 of capacity. We're still pulling 43 amps. This is only saying minus 2. This is saying we're pulling 600 watts. It's saying 42 amps. It's still my battery voltage is still in the high 13s. Which is crazy because I'm charging that. Should probably stop charging. I don't really need it, so I'm gonna stop this from charging because I'll charge that another time. But uh, seems pretty neat. <laughs> okay, so it's now it's saying 17 hours of runtime at this kind of load, and it's climbing. It's cool. It looks like he's giving like an average. I wonder what 
that's going to go up too. Anyways, 99.8%. This will keep going down, down, down until uh, the sun comes up tomorrow. But the problem is, I don't have these set up to run through uh, that shunt yet, so I'm going to have to reset the the amp hour coming on this thing because um, those things are not going to uh, pass through it and bring the percentage back up. So I'm only half installed. I ran out of time tonight. Just kind of wanted to get it. Uh, let's don't get this 3.2 amp hour. Is that what I've used? 3.3. Maybe that's what I used. Doesn't really specify. I would have th I would think this would be climbing higher than that, but faster than that. I mean, but maybe that is what that is. So we've used 3.4 amp hours so far. I have 1,620 amp hour battery bank. Still pulling 490 watts. 37 amps. Oops! I keep hitting both buttons. 99.8%. Cool. Okay. Here's the update for tonight. Hope you guys enjoyed it. So I got the new Victron battery monitor set up. I'm off grid. My house is pulling. It would just surged up for a second. But uh, it's pulling 25 amps. So my solar system is running the house plus putting 270 some odd watts into my batteries because uh, the surge in the house just kicked in. I was pulling, I was pulling, it should have a minus sign here, a thousand watts for a few minutes and then uh, cycled uh, back off whatever turned on in the house. <clears throat> it's nice to see exactly what's going on. We got 20 amps going into the batteries, even though the batteries are almost full. Uh, let's see what this says the batteries are at. About 14 volts, that's pretty good. Uh, pretty much go like this infinity, this says right now, because we're not pulling too much power. We got lots of power coming in. 100% battery uh, percentage. Uh, we've used zero amp hours so far. <clears throat> it's cool to see that go up and down. It's pretty neat. Um, as something surges in the house, we use amp hours, and then when it shuts off, we put it back into the battery. That again is uh, the watts going into the batteries. We're almost at our float voltage. <coughs> oh, this one's floating. This one's limiting current, so is this one now. Very interesting. And the hose is actually not pulling too much right now, which is awesome. I'm going to run like this for the weekend, because I just got this installed, so I want to test it. I forgot my hole saw uh, at work. I wanted to put it in here, so right now I just got it two-sided tape to the side just for now. But, uh, yeah. It's working well. Excited. New toy. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's pulling 41 amps. And we're still putting... We had a surge. I ran a, a compressor in the garage, so the batteries went down in voltage a little bit. So we got coming in right now from the panel. It's hazy outside going in and coming out of haze. When it comes out, this one should reach over, a little over 40, and this one should be close as well. Still putting 220 watts into the batteries. And that's after running everything in the house. Oh yeah, I even have these fluorescent lights on. I don't need them on, but I want them on, so they're on. Alright. Hope you guys enjoy this little update. Sun we're getting today. It's pretty uh, hazy. Still got a bit of sun. I got 41 amps in that baby. And 35 amps in this one. Nah, that just changed. <clears throat> we are pulling. After all the solar has gone through, we're pulling 1,080 watts from the batteries. 
81 amps are coming out of the batteries. This is taking 155 amps. And we're only taking 81 amps out. <clears throat> Battery voltage, 13 volts. My wife's uh, cooking in the toaster oven inside. This is saying at this current usage, we would last 10 hours. We are 99.8% on battery capacity. <coughs> we have used up 3.7 amp hours out of 1,620 amp hour battery bank. And this is my new little gadget. I like this thing a lot. <coughs> Here's a percentage. Where's, that's where I want to be. I like looking at that. I like seeing what's coming out, what's going back in. Um, but anyways, and that's the system. So I got 42 amps coming out of this guy. It's just a little bit warm. I got 30, oh, this one was at 37 amps a second ago. The jump around with this cloud coverage. There we go, we got 44 amps on that one. And... Forty amps and thirty-five amps. <coughs> Anyways, it's a good, uh, good little system. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit the like button. I'll probably have a few more updates. Catch this. I was well over forty-five amps on that one, and over forty amps on this one. That's eighty-five amps coming in. There you go. It was almost there. Forty-five and forty-one. Pretty good. What do we have here now? 171 watts. <clears throat> 44 amps and 40. We're doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. I find with these controllers, <clears throat> they bounce around a little bit. When something kicks on in the house and the battery's voltage quickly changes. It has to search for maximum power point quickly and then it uh, stabilizes. There we got 46 amps and 39 amps. <coughs> that, those jump around a lot, but look at this. This one doesn't really jump around a whole lot. So, it's very interesting that these monitors show that they jump around more than they actually do. Well, thanks for watching. Cooking, we have 550 ish watts going back into my batteries. The house is still taking 32.6 amps of my batteries. This is what we got coming in now 38 amps there, and 36, 30, 40. Ah, it's all over, but. Pretty good, around 75 amps coming in from the solar panels. Again, here's a shot here. I don't know if this went down or if this went up. Yeah, that went up a little. 35 amps, 36 amps. Let's see what percentage we're now after she did the cooking. 100%. <laughs> Guess it really didn't uh, uh, pull the voltage down very far. She just finished cooking. What is my voltage? Um, 13.5. Rising. That's crazy. I like this little monitor. It works really well. A lot of info I can get now that I couldn't get before. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's getting cloudier. The sun's starting to go down. Way past the peak of what my panels uh, put out through the day. We're in full bulk mode. And we are only producing 17 and a half amps here and 19 here. Still fully charged, 100% battery. And the house is pulling 25 amps. And 13.6 volts on the batteries. 100% charged and I have 100 watts coming into my batteries after the house is being run.
All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Oh, this is the beginning. This is where I start losing ground. We're at 99 percent. We still got 14 amps coming in on both, about 28 amps together. House is pulling 25 amps. So we're we're about. Oh, something just stirred up. There we go. Look at that. 133 amps, 99%. All right, I'm gonna let this go throughout the weekend and see uh, how well uh, my guesses were when I was get guesstimating uh, my percentage of battery life left. We'll find out.